Pretty crazy, right? All of this, every single image and video you just saw, was made entirely by AI. So if AI can create stuff like this, why aren't your results looking the same? Well, the truth is, it's not because you're using the wrong tool. It's because you're not using AI the way it actually works. Most people treat AI like Google. They just type in a vague question, hit enter, and then wonder why the output feels kind of basic. Now the thing is, AI isn't a search engine. It's more like a personal assistant. And just like any assistant, if you give it bad instructions, you'll get bad results. And if you know how to prompt properly, you can unlock the full power of any AI, whether it's ChatGPT, Leonardo, or Gemini for images, or even Veo for video. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, because there's one prompting trick that works across every type of AI text, image, video, and once you learn it, everything changes. And to understand it, we need to understand about A, I ask vague, get vague. If you type something like, write me an article about any topic into ChatGPT, what do you think you're going to get back? A generic copy-paste article that could have come from anywhere. Nothing special, nothing you'd actually use for your business or content. And that's the mistake most people make. They think AI is just a magic box you ask, it delivers. But AI doesn't work like that. It works more like an actor. Think of it this way. You're not just a user, you're the director. The AI is your actor. If you give an actor vague directions like, uh, just say something dramatic, what's gonna happen? You'll probably get a random performance. But if you tell the actor exactly what role they're playing, what mood to set, what the scene is, and how you want the line delivered, you'll get something powerful. It's the same with AI. The better your instructions, the better the performance. Let me show you a quick example. Watch this. I'll type into chat GPT. Write a post about fitness. See that? Boring, generic, nothing that stands out. Now watch this. You are a fitness coach writing an Instagram post. Your task is to motivate beginners to go to the gym. Context. Audience feels insecure and unmotivated. Format. Short, punchy sentences ending with a call to action. Boom! The difference is night and day. Suddenly the tone is sharper, it feels personal, and it's ready to post. That's why prompting matters. It's not about the AI being smart. It's about how we guide it. All right, so what's this one big trick I keep talking about? It's something I call the R-O-L-E method. It's super simple, and it works across every kind of AI. R-O-L-E stands for Role, Objective, Landscape, Expression. Let's break it down. First, Role. This is where we assign the AI an identity. Instead of just asking it a question, we tell it who it is. For example, you are a senior marketing strategist. Right away, the AI knows the voice, the perspective, and the level of expertise it should bring. Next, Objective. This is the action we want the AI to take. Use clear verbs. Instead of saying, tell me about competitors, we say, summarize competitor campaigns. Sharp, direct, easy to follow, then landscape. This is the background, the context most people skip. Without it, the AI just guesses. So here we'd add, the company sells eco-friendly fitness gear. Now the AI has something specific to anchor its answers on. And finally, expression. This is where we tell it exactly how we want the output. Give me a bullet point SWOT analysis. Now the AI not only knows what to say, but how to present it. Let's compare. If we ask vaguely, tell me about competitor marketing, we get something bland and generic. But if we apply role, you are a senior marketing strategist. Summarize competitor campaigns. Landscape. The company sells eco-friendly fitness gear. Expression. 
bullet point SWOT analysis. The difference is clear. With this technique, the response is sharp, organized, and business ready. The best part is that this works not just for ChatGPT, but for image and video tools too. Once you start prompting with role, you'll never go back to typing random questions. Now that we've got the role method down role, objective, landscape, expression, let's talk about a few extra techniques and types that make your prompts even more powerful. These are like little add-ons you can layer on top of role to get sharper, smarter outputs. First up, zero-shot prompting. This is the simplest form. No examples, just a clean role prompt. For example, role, you are a nutrition coach. Objective, create a meal plan. Landscape, it's for a beginner who wants to eat healthy on a budget. Expression, a seven-day table with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's zero shot. We just gave the structure and the A, I figured it out. Next, few shot prompting. This is where we give the AI one or two examples to show it what good looks like. Let's say we want Instagram captions. We could write, here are two examples of captions we like. Then we apply roll on top and say, now generate 10 more in the same style. It's like showing the AIA sample answer sheet before the test. Third, step back prompting. This one is underrated. Instead of going straight to the final answer, we ask the AI to zoom out first. For example, role, you are a financial advisor. Objective, identify key factors before giving recommendations. Landscape, the client is a small business owner in retail. Expression, list the top five areas to analyze before creating a strategy. We're basically saying, step back, gather the big picture, then narrow in. It helps with better planning and less rushed outputs. Finally, chain of thought. This is where we literally tell the AI, let's think step by step. By adding that little instruction inside our ROL prompt, the AI actually slows down and reasons through its answer instead of jumping to conclusions. It's especially useful for logical or multi-step problems. So, when you combine the role method with these techniques, zero shot, few shot, step back, and chain of thought, you're no longer just using AI, you're actually directing it. And in next part, we are going to show how can you use prompts like these in other tools for image and video creation? Let me show you. Example one is text to image with Gemini. Here's the ROL prompt. Roll. You are a concept artist for a sci-fi film. Objective. Generate a futuristic city skyline at sunset. Landscape. The city is on Mars with flying vehicles and glowing neon signs. Expression ultra-realistic, cinematic, 16 by 9. You don't need to mention role or objective. It's just for understanding. So, our prompt would be, you are a concept artist for a sci-fi film. Generate a futuristic city skyline at sunset. The city is on Mars with flying vehicles and glowing neon signs. Ultra-realistic, cinematic, 16 by 9. Instead of typing something vague like sci-fi city, this gives the AI a clear role, a precise task, rich context, and the format we want. The result, a stunning cinematic image that feels like a movie scene, not a random sketch. Example two is text to video with Vao. Here's how role works for video role. You are a creative director making a TikTok ad. Objective, Create a short video showing a fitness coach doing a workout. Landscape, it should be upbeat, modern, with text overlays saying no excuses. The background is a bright, clean gym. Expression, vertical video under eight seconds with high energy music. And what happens? Instead of Veo spitting out something generic, it generates a polished ad style clip that's ready for social media. See how powerful this is? Same framework, different tools. That's the beauty of this prompt.
It doesn't matter if you're writing text, designing images, or producing video. Once you learn R-O-L-E, you can unlock every AI out there. The one trick you need to remember is the role method, and you'll instantly get results that are sharper, clearer, and 10 times more useful. Now, I want to hear from you. Drop your best prompt down in the comments. I might even feature it in the next video. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe if you want more practical AI hacks like this one. And yeah, if you enjoyed this, you're definitely going to love our other video, Why Every Creator Needs This AI Reels Hack, 100 Reels in Minutes. That one will show you how to turn this prompting power into endless content for your socials. Work smart, not hard, and we'll see you in the next video.